For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney, and we're here in the Nokia booth at Mobile World Congress 2018 to learn a little bit about MultiFire from Stefan Doblet. So, Stefan, thank you so much for taking the time to speak for us, and tell me a little bit about the specification development that's been going on with the MultiFire Alliance. You had your 1.0 come out last year, and then I believe 1.1 is coming out later this year to speak more specifically to this IoT use case, correct? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, we see MultiFire really having a key role in a number of industry verticals. So in that regard, we've developed the standards to ensure it also supports different grades of uh, IoT connectivity. So like LTE, which is based on, we're going to be supporting LTM and narrowband IoT as part of release 1.1, which should be available in June this year. All right, and help me understand a little bit more about the economics involved here. It's all unlicensed spectrum, five gigahertz, so that really lowers the barrier to entry, not only for operators who might be interested, but also for private industries that want to take advantage of LTE connectivity, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, what we're talking about here is the technology that connects, you know, things that needs to be connected and are reliable. So for the uh, the operator or for the enterprise, MultiFire really provides an opportunity to have a reliable wireless technology that is also cost effective based on the LTE standard, based on the LTE ecosystem. And uh, this is what we're talking about here. So in terms of the solution we have, this is based on commercial small cell solution that are selling in very high volume today. And we expect the cost to be not very different than what we're seeing in LTE network small cell today. And I'm curious, as the ecosystem continues to develop around MultiFire, I know Nokia brought to market a small cell that supports it. How about on the device side? What's the trajectory in that regard? So at this point in time, we had a prototype device from Qualcomm in our lab that enabled us to verify the standard understanding and put that in place in our small cells and ensure that we had perfect IoT connectivity uh, between these small cells and, uh, and the prototype chipset. This prototype chipset will be used for our trial that will start in April this year and our product will be commercial once we have the full validation around June timeframe. Beyond that, the chipset manufacturer, and we are talking to several which are part of the MultiFire Alliance, will then transform their chipset prototype into real silicone that will then make it into another and different types of devices, both for industrial grade type applications such as IoT gateways, rugged tablets, and over time you also expect that this will make it into phones like anybody's smartphones. And then you mentioned a trial that's going to be kicking off in April. Can you give us a little detail about what that's going to be? Yes, actually we have trials in quite a few different instances. So we have trials with different uh, industries, both in terms of manufacturing, warehousing, maritime, mining. So we really have a, really a wide breadth of industry that are interested in applying the value of LTE in the various campuses. So this is what we expect to see, but we also have a lot of operators now very interested in using MultiFire to go beyond the boundary of the frequency ownership, meaning they can co cover the corporate international customers that have sites outside in different countries where the where their operator hasn't got spectrum. With MultiFire, they can really offer them the value of LTE even overseas. So since the group was established, MultiFire Alliance really has been making quick progress in developing quite a robust partner ecosystem. Could you maybe look ahead through the rest of 2018 and into next year and tell us what we can expect in terms of further progress from MultiFire Alliance? So in terms of multi-file elements, we've got the next step for us, which is 1.1, which will be complete as we talked earlier, mid you know, this year. And then beyond that, we'll be continuing the evolution of the release of the uh, multi-file standard and also looking forward towards 5G as well, bringing 5G multi-file solution that works in the unlicensed spectrum as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to keep us caught up on the great work multi is doing. Thanks very much.